Um, and we're, we're at this point in time where in the, for the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth, it is possible to extend consciousness beyond our home planet. And um, that window may be open for a long time or it may be open for a short time. I hope it's open for a long time. Uh, but it might only be open for a short time. And uh, we should just make sure that we extend the light of consciousness to Mars before some uh, before civilization either extinguishes or subsides. You know, all that, all that needs to happen is that the technology level of Mars drops below or t technology level of Earth drops below what is necessary to send spaceships to Mars. So if there's some really destructive war or, like I said, some natural cataclysm, um, or, or simply the birth rate is so low that, you know, we, we just, like I said, die in adult diapers with a whimper. That's one of the possible outcomes. For a lot of countries are headed that way, by the way. So. Japan is, right? Japan, Korea. Korea yeah. yeah. Yeah, at current birth rates, in three generations, Korea will be about 4% of its current size. That's insane. Yeah, maybe maybe even less than that. Um, they're, they're only at one-third replacement rate. So if you, if you have three generations, that one, that's your 127th uh, of your current population, which is 3%-ish. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Basically, population collapse happens fast. Um, so, and seems to be accelerating in most parts of the world. So, so basically, I mean, from my standpoint, I'm like, this is the first time it's been possible to extend life, extend consciousness beyond Earth. Maybe that window will be open for a long time, but it might only be open for a short time. We should make sure that we make life multiplanetary and make consciousness multiplanetary while it's possible. Well, That's the goal of, goal of SpaceX. 